I really like that. Like when I played it, I'm like, ooh, that's saucy right there. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your favorite cow. So I thought, you know what I need? A new music series. Cause I guess I haven't done one of those in a while. I flattened my nose. So I got this big brain five hat idea, right? Oh God, sorry man. So the concept is I'm going to remix a certain track from an artist that I really like or collab with them on a track. And then I'm going to interview them and then do a beat breakdown. So this first episode is on my breakdown to my remix of Emma's Left the Building's Fake Love. Wanna be appreciated. If you guys haven't heard the original version, first of all, what the hell? What the hell? Now that you've heard the original version, let's get into how I messed it up. Uh, well, how I remixed it. This is the session for Fake Love. Like I said in uh, previous videos, go through the whole track and try to find loops, try to find different chops that I can layer. So for M's track, like I kind of wanted to um, take certain lyrics that I found like really interesting and prominent and um, like resonated with me. And I think the original track was around 86. So I took the chops, I warped them so it won't like sound all choppy, set it to zero dB, lowered the pitch to by three steps, and then I added a phone filter from Fab. Because I'm remixing the entire thing, I just uh, downloaded the track and did it from there. I kind of had to take out a lot of the snare, a lot of the bass, so I could mix my own. So let's just see how that sounds by itself. You still hear the snare a little bit and other like prominent stuff. Like I can't take all of it out. So if anything, the bass and that little snap is um adds to the percussion. Like I can't do anything about it. So if anything, I, I worked my drums around that rhythm. I think this is the second chop I had. Okay. I layered it with this chop. Some of them I pitched up, some of them I pitched down, like I alternated and panned it, panned to the left. That I went all the way to nine steps above, so it's like a chipmunk voice. Okay, so when I pitched it down, I threw some chords over it. Seven. Then I think uh, I want to say D minor seven with the C in the bass. I want to say that. <laughs> My theory is losing me a little bit, but I really felt like that kind of vibe. Real low five vibe. I think I'm looping over. I felt like I needed an accent, so I added this little synth part from the Arturia Collection preset called Circle. Like on every chord change. And then for the, the B section, when the loop changes, it's the same chords but just an octave lower. Just kind of to change the mood a little bit, make it a little darker. For some reason, when I played this, it just has a brighter tone. You know, it's lower. I don't know. It's like maybe it's like it went to major. That's just kind of how I hear it. And the bass line, the bass line goes from the third of the chord, and it starts an accent early, before the chord change. This felt like it added a groove. Like a little hesitant. Boom, boom. Let's just talk about vinyl section and why it's a little different, it's a little darker. Like I wanted a more sinister tone, like a different change, like you know. Like what she's saying, like if I lose your number, unless you want to do this again, it feels like very braggadocious, it feels like very in your fucking face, like really confident. And I think that's a really a contrast from everything else. So I wanted a sinister vibe with the keys. Here's what I added. Oh, 
Like I did the minish chords there. And then for this, like I really wanted some dissonance for like this on the synth line. Like a D sharp. Like all these, all these lines. Like all these notes are so dissonant. And I think for the transition, like it's the chop from earlier in the track, but pitched higher up. Bring something from earlier towards the end to tie everything back together because it's a little bit of a key change. I don't want it to be too abrupt. The thing I really like about this part is the bass line. Like this chord, the second chord, what is it? D Now yeah, let's see. It's also con it's like that contrast is so sharp and then I added a B flat in the bass when Ableton's A sharp. So the chord is diminished but the bass is adding this B flat. So it adds a really bright tone to the point where it's no longer diminished chord. I think it actually becomes like a a B flat seven chord. It's such a brighter tone. But then you have the the synth line that just adding so much like dissonance. I really like that. Like when I played it, I'm like, ooh, that's saucy right there. Now let's get to the bread and the butter, the drums. Really simple. I wanted like a really dusty kick. The snare I added some reverb to it. Add this hi hats. No hi hat on the snare, so the snare is prominent. But then the hats are kind of following the the kick. They kind of keep the groove going. Open. This little 808 bell. Because why the hell not? And a crash. And some vocal stuff. Because I'd be like that. It's my business. I forget where that's from, but I, I've always liked it. Like I hear it in beats all the all the fucking time. I hear this breath thing. Like just to add um color, maybe a little white noise. Well. To bring in another section. And for the most part, those are the drums. It works really well with the sample because the sample has the, the drum parts in it already. You can't really do anything about it, you know? Very simple, but honestly, simple is sometimes what you need. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys how that sounds in context with everything. Play the first section first. And I tried, I tried my best to kind of have that snap. So the snap is coming in on the third of the beat. And then it's being like kind of playing with the rhythm a little bit of the kick. Try to hear that. So like instead of adding another bass kick here, I have the the snap of the snare, the snap of the from the from the original. That was completely by accident, and it ended up working really well. Just that if anyone's wondering how do you do that kind of sound, super simple. So you press the E, you go to transposition modulation. Add a point to the red line, drop it all the way down to the lowest possible setting. That will add that sound. And I just love this part. I love this transition. Yeah. Also knows like I never say fake love. I never say that in the in the track. Something I did on purpose. Like I didn't want those words to kind of be said. I just felt like that would be kind of cool. Oh yeah, I had this ride. I for totally forgot about that. On the upbeats. Pan slightly to the right. I love that part. I really love it. I'm I'm Kanyeing a little bit, <laughs> but. Yeah, that is the Fake Love Remix Breakdown. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please check out my remix of MS Left the Building's Fake Love. Please also check out 
the original version both versions my remix plus emma's left the building's original fake love is in the description of this video duh also stay tuned for next week's video where i will be interviewing emma's left the building on this channel we'll be covering a myriad of topics it was a really chill conversation she's a really really dope person you will not want to miss it and yeah leave a like if you enjoyed this subscribe if you really enjoyed it hit the notification if you fucking like and i'll see you guys next time Boo -boo. Oh.